Christian Vega is dead. I don't see how he could possibly come between you and Natalie. You think she's still in love with him? I know she is. Always will be. asking this business what business pool business no, i'm john mcbain you christian vega um christian said you were looking for me you natalie yeah why well if i didn't have a reason before i i got one now Hey, look, can I talk to you for a minute in private? No. I'll make it quick. Now, whatever you got to say, you can say in front of my brother. Okay. Take this in the spirit that it's that it's meant, Chris. Do you have an idea what's going on with your wife right now? John, what the hell do you think you are? Hear me out. Hear me out. Look, Natalie came by the station. She was pretty close to losing it. You know, she always acts tough. She's scared, man, and she's worried about you. I just thought you might want to know that. Stay the hell away from my wife. Natalie, your neck. Are you hurt? We should get that checked out. No, I'm fine. What are you doing here? I called the police. I thought you were going to kill that guy. I told you to stay away from my wife. She doesn't need you messing up her life again. Get old, Chris. Do not throw Vegas in my face every time I run into you. Oh, yeah? What are you gonna do about it? Chris. Come on. Let's go. Well, she and Natalie are concerned that you're not following up on your therapy. I can take care of my wife. Or she can take care of you. I mean, you like that. You are living with her mom, right? What the hell's that supposed to mean? What's it supposed to mean? It's, that's the way it is, isn't it, Chris? Don't push me. The way I man. see it, Chris, you're not taking care of anything. You can't take care of yourself. I you said, your wife. don't you push me. Why, Chris? What are you going to do? Come on, show me what you... I warned you. Yeah, you warned me. Now let me go. Hey! Are you... Are you telling me I need to kick my husband out of my bed? I'm not telling you. I'm asking you to hear me out. No. Listen to me, I know you. You are just really, really messed up right now from what those people did to you on the ship. But you know what? We're going to get you help. We're going to get you really, really good help. Okay, you're just confused, Christian. You're just... Stop it! So you better just lock me up before I hurt someone else. Like Natalie? I know you care about her. I've got a pretty good idea just how much. What you think... And what you know are two very different things. Come on, man, I'm not blind. I saw how you were always trying to play the big hero, trying to make her doubt me. Unfortunately, I was kind of right about that, wasn't I? Yeah, but that's not why you did it. You did it because you wanted her. Wrong. Again. If I was really Christian Vega, you'd still be working it. Get the hell out. She deserves to know, Chris. First, you almost get her killed. And now you want me to destroy the rest of her life? How could you let that cycle get to her, huh? Hey, where the hell were you? I'm out there doing the very best I can, all right? You're sitting in a six by nine drawing little pictures of a woman you may never lay eyes on again. <sighs> Felt long and hard about coming here again. This isn't because you're concerned about me. It's about covering your own ass when I end up dead. And everybody finds out that I'm Christian and that you knew. How much is Natalie going to be into you then? Who knows? But keeping it from her was your idea. And you want to make sure you still look good. That you tried to help me and hit on me. So you can have my wife conscious, free and clear. Is that what you really think? <laughs> That's just a little bit. But this is your setup, not mine. I asked you to keep my secret. Not sleep with my wife. I didn't plan on that. 
truth be told, I didn't want it. I fought it the whole time you were away. Two years, I never acted on that. You know, Evangeline's a hell of a lawyer. Says she's gonna get you out. What are you gonna do then? Well, personally, I think you should head home to Natalie and hope she forgives you. I mean, that's what this is really about for you, isn't it? It's not that I've blown it by not telling her. It's that you have. So where's that leave us? I don't know. I don't know either. Look, you're a good guy. You've proven that much. But understand that I can't just step aside and pretend I don't have an investment in all this. Ellie means something to both of us. All right, one more shot. Make it, I win. Yeah. You miss it. I make it. I win. It's all this one big crap shoot. Think about it. So how's it going? Stop, ah, Johnny. Step up. Keep the feet moving. Natalie's going for a no-fault divorce, so uh, it's pretty much over. Yeah, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, right. I believe that. Ooh. Don't let him crowd you, Johnny. Back him up. Back him up. Hey, you're good. You can make money on this. I already got a good. Don't tell him. I'm not a cop. No, I'm an artist. Honest. Come on, Johnny. It's an artist. Enough. It's a divorce is done deal, huh? Still hoping? She doesn't want me. Right? Because she thinks you discover who you are. Yeah, well, I don't think she thinks I'll let you eat her. You got great time. Fight is instant. You call me if you change your mind. See you tomorrow. Buy you a cup of coffee? Not sure me about not uh, hurting Natalie again. I'm the last person to be lecturing someone on that subject. You're doing the best you can, right? Same as me. If you're thinking of saying this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship or some crap like that, I don't know. It's just the beginning of another over-commercialized holiday season that we should we all get on with our damn lives. Now that, I can toast it.